My name is Jason Engelman. I am the CEO of Stage Agent, and today I am joined virtually by our head of curriculum, Cindy Calhoun, um, and we will be going over the Stage Agent for Schools platform. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So the Stage Agent for Schools platform is a two-sided platform. There's a teacher side and a student side. And as the description says, it's a one-stop shop to explore plays, study theater history and practice, find teaching materials, and learn about the theater industry. Um, today, we will focus mostly on the teacher side, um, but feel free to reach out if you'd like a more in-depth demo or in want to see you know, what the student experience is like as well. Uh, well. We'll only touch on the high level items today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dive right into it. I'm gonna log in to my teacher portal. So as you can see, we have um, single sign on either I can sign on with my email address, but we also integrate with tools like Google, Clever, and Classlink. I integrated with my Google account, so I'm going to log in via Google. So I'm now signed into my stage agent teacher portal. And what I want you to notice is how the site is organized. So there are these key navigation areas. The teach area allows you to manage your classes. So as I mentioned, you can invite all of your students to join as well. And um, via the class manager, you can view analytics data for how your students are using the platform. You can assign content. So we provide lesson plans, quizzes, uh, guides, and other materials. Uh, and you can also set content filters. So for example, if you're teaching uh, middle school, you might want to show different content compared to if you were teaching high school or college. We also provide a fantastic library of lesson plans that are um, also aligned to National Arts Corps standards. Um, so we have hundreds of lesson plans uh, that uh, can be taught in class, hybrid, remote. Um, so we'll we'll go through a, a little bit of that uh, when Cindy takes over here in a minute. Um, and then the show research section. So this is really, I'd say, the bread and butter. We have thousands of study guides about plays and musicals. We also have a fantastic library of monologues and scenes, as well as tools to find audition songs, character breakdowns, playwright and composer biographies. And we also have a library of full scripts available. Learning modules is essentially replacing uh, different textbooks. Uh, so each of these learning modules uh, is quite in depth. Uh, so we go over the entire auditioning process. We have uh, a really nice just theater basics, theater one um, outline here. Uh, career guides, so we give uh, really detailed information about every possible job in theater. Uh, diversity and inclusion performing skills and process, playwriting, practitioners, Shakespeare, technical theater, and then theater history and world theater. And then finally, the participate section, we have some interactive elements where students from around the world, um, and certainly around the, uh, the United States, as they pass various quizzes, we have an interactive leaderboard that updates every month. And students also earn virtual badges and there's uh, incentives like that. We also aggregate audition notices at primarily community theaters around the country as well, which can be a really nice 
tool to show students um, that there is theater beyond school. We also have research directories for college theater programs, libraries of downloadable templates. So for example, formatting your resume or your audition book. Uh, we have dozens and dozens of templates. And then we have a theater glossary. So I'm now going to hand it over to our head of curriculum, Cindy, Professor Cindy Calhoun, um, who will show you some specific examples and take it away, Cindy. All right, Let's see. Am I gonna be able to have screen sharing on my end? Here, I'll stop sharing mine. Okay, so we're back in the same page, except this is my teacher homepage. Um, here we try to give you a little bit of insight. So this is International Guitar Month, so we can celebrate some rock musicals and rock legends. There's also a way to get into lesson plans down here, and I'll go over those lesson plans in just a moment. First, we'll go to show research, and I'll show you what a basic show guide looks like. So you can see how students can get into and understand our show guides. Um, there's thousands and thousands of guides here. I'm going to select one of my personal favorites, which is Les Miserables. This is what a basic show guide looks like. We give you an overview, some basic information about the show, um, how many acts, when it was first premiered, where it takes place. There's even a link for the licensor. So if you're interested in licensing the show, you can follow that link and get more information. For this particular show, we give you some context. So both Victor Hugo's original novel, as well as how the musical Les Mis came to be. So it gives students some good background information on the creation of the musical. We have a full plot breakdown here. We divide it into acts. You can see here, if you look at this right here, we also identify the songs and where they appear throughout the entire musical. And so if I scroll, you can see this is in depth. It's, it's lengthy, but it gives students a really strong look at the show Les Miserables. I go back up. Our next tab over on the side is characters. And we give a full breakdown of each of these characters. So gender, the size of the role, and the vocal parts. If I click on Jean Valjean, I get once again, a breakdown of who he is. So here is his uh, vocal range, um, his technique about Valjean himself. We also give some videos. So here's Colm Wilkinson performing Bring Him Home, Alfie Bo as well. Um, some character content. So these are a couple of songs that Valjean sings, Bring Him Home, Who Am I? And if you were going to audition, you could follow um, this link here. There's some suggested monologues um, that are similar to what you might find for Valjean um, and some songs that show off that tenor range. I'm going to click back here on Les Mis. After characters, there's some sample videos. We also provide a list of songs. Everything in blue is hyperlinked, it's clickable. So if I click on I Dreamed a Dream, we get song information for that particular song. So we learn a little bit about Fontaine and where the song appears. We have the high and low notes, any vocal notes, what's going to help an actress be successful in singing this, cut suggestions, um, some performances, and even some karaoke. I'm going to go back here, click on Les Mis one more time. We also provide overviews of monologues. Sometimes there are scenes available, and we wrap things up with quizzes. A new feature that we have, I'm going to go here to key terms. We provide important terms that are going to further help students understand the, the show. So here we have epiphany. Um, it's really important for Valjean through the show. Ingenue, this helps describe the character of Cosette. Context, the June Rebellion becomes really important in Act Two. So this all provides students with information about the show. 
you'll see that throughout we've had this little assign button. If you want to make sure that your students read this guide, that they go right to it, all you have to do is click assign and you'll be able to feature this, showcase it to your students. We should also note that everything here under tags is clickable. So all you would have to do if you want to learn more about any shows that are tagged with Tony Award, simply click Tony Award. And here's all the shows possible. Lots of them. So that's show research. And as Jason said, there are different ways to get into the shows. So this is our encyclopedia. Here's our textbook. I'm going to show you theater basics because that's where we all begin. This is your introduction for those first time theater students. Great for middle school, your drama one students. And we give that high level overview of different elements of theater. I'm going to click on parts of the stage to show you what that looks like. So we always start with an overview, basic description of what is in this particular guide or chapter, the terminology that they'll see throughout so this becomes a great vocabulary list. Then we have the discussion and this is the meat of the chapter. This gives the overview of what we mean by parts of the stage. Where possible we incorporate um, diagrams, pictures, videos, and so you can see we go through the zones, the curtains, the machinery. Here's a picture of a fly system so students can see what these things look like. You can scroll back up any related resources. So we connect into um, other stage agent sections. Something important to note is that this site is very interconnected. We try to complement throughout the site um, the show guides to the learning modules and so on. So students can look at these technical theater guides. Where possible, we also try to provide enrichment through web links. In this case, the Kennedy Center, which is a great resource to learn more about the stage. Videos, here's some videos. We are have embedded them from YouTube and we get a little bit of an overview of stage directions and how um, the stages work. So that taps into another mode of learning for students. And then finally quizzes, types of stages. And as Jason mentioned before, there's a leaderboard. So students, if they complete the quiz successfully, they can earn 10 points toward getting that next badge and being featured on the leaderboard. Cindy, we actually had a, a question yes. uh, about quizzes. Can you actually just go ahead and open up this quiz so people can Absolutely. see what, what a typical quiz looks like? Okay, so on the teacher side, you'll be able to turn the answer key on for you, but I can click it off. So if I wanted to print this out and have handed out paper um, for my students, I can do that. So this is what a quiz look like, looks like. It's generally multiple multiple choice. You might have some true faults in there. The key is students need to um, pass the quiz completely so that they can earn all their points. So if I go through and, um, oh, I can't take the quiz <laughs> because I'm on the teacher side, but let's say I went through the quiz and um, I missed some questions, I would get my results back as the student and see that I had uh, missed questions, it would tell me which ones I missed, and I can try to take the quiz again. And then once I have all of the answers correct, I get those points. Um, this is a great kind of formative assessment, that quick check for you and your students to see, are they reading the information? Are they processing and understanding the information? Um, a great participation tool as well. Great. Um, thanks, Cindy. And, and mm -hmm. for the attendees out here if you do have any questions while cindy is presenting just put them in the chat uh we're we're monitoring that and we'll respond either directly in the chat or ask cindy to address the question yeah absolutely so that's the overview of learning modules as you can see many different pieces here and then the participate section um, I particularly like this one, templates. These are basic templates that um, you can download in a doc form, pages, or um, Google Docs. So everything from resumes to what a press release would look like if you're doing marketing for a show, um, technical cue sheets, 
a rehearsal report for your stage managers, makeup plots, costume rendering templates, so on and so forth, a call sheet. So these are all templates that are going to be very useful for young theater artists to have that those skills, those foundational skills that they need if they're going to participate in theater and your drama program. Finally, over here is the blog. And um, these are written by professionals in the industry, and it gives this insight into, um, you know, careers in theater or tips for acting. Um, something to note is that our site is kind of a very organic living thing. We are every day adding new information to the site. Finally, I'm going to go over to teach the orange button here. The first thing I want to show you is the standard alignments. We have identified the um, national theater art standards, as well as all 50 state standards and some international standards and determined how well our stage agent content aligns to those standards. So at the national level, which is in many ways inspiration for many, many of our states, you can see if it is designated with an A, that means that we are the only resource, we can be your um, foundational resource to meet that standard. If you see a B, we can be one of many resources, or, but largely we are going to be a, a strong resource for you to address that standard. And if it's C, we're a good supplemental resource for you. So that document exists for all 50 states. It becomes a great resource for you to, you know, especially for your administration to make sure you are hitting all standards. Then we have lesson summaries. There are hundreds of lessons available on Stage Agent. This document does not cover everything, but it does give you a starting point and a snapshot. Things are divided into topics. We identify the suggested time frame, suggested skill level, but keep in mind, everything is adaptable for your students and what you need. Everything in blue is hyperlinked. So if you wanna dig into Le Bon technique, you could click this link right here and it will take you directly to the lesson on Le Bon technique. Or if you were interested in Rasa boxes, we have theater fundamentals, we link to the learning modules. So all of these materials, once again, are linked back to the site, but this gives you a good overview of what we have available. The last thing to show you before we get to the lessons here are curriculum maps. We have for drama one, two, three, they are aligned to the um, identified um, skill levels within the, the national standards and many state standards. So a drama one curriculum map looks like this. So this is your standard curriculum map format. We go by topic, suggested time frame, and where it fits in the calendar. We give you the essential questions, the supporting text, the supporting lessons. We have target assessments that are identified from these lessons. And here's the standards that you're going to be focusing on if you choose this particular topic. And we give you pretty much a full year. You can mix and match, you can change the order, but this gives you a foundational starting point for your curriculum. And we do that for levels one, two, and three. The last part is going to be the lessons. As I said, hundreds of lessons, and there's many ways to search. You can search by keyword, by show title, um, by skill. We have three kinds of lessons. The first I'm gonna show you is unit that has a blue card here. And any um, uh, lesson that is designated as a unit has smaller lessons embedded within it. And that's what these look like. So if you see a number behind a, a lesson, that means it's part of a unit. So you can see this Tennessee Williams, Powerful Women in the Plays, as lesson two out of four for the unit on Tennessee Williams. Finally, there are exercises. These are designated with a purple card. The great thing about these exercises is that they are very quick out of the box. Um, one of the uh, things I 
particularly really like is that we've designated where lessons work really well as sub plans or emergency plans, because that scramble, if you're sick, if you can't make it in, this is always difficult. So this particular lesson could work well as an emergency plan for you in that case. We give you all of the information. If I need to find more emergency plans, that's clickable. I click that, here we go. Here's all possible lessons that could work really well if you are suddenly out and um, need someone to, to cover your class. Back to find a lesson. I'm going to go to Advanced Pantomime. It's right here on the front. So this is the basic setup of a lesson. Over on the side, we have the title, what topic it fits into, basically acting skills. It's for high school, intermediate, advanced. Spend about a week here, but again, it's adaptable. You can bookmark this lesson. You can share it to Google Classroom. You can also assign it to make sure your students see it. This first tab, the overview, gives you description, essential question, and learning objectives. And students will see these three things, description, essential question, learning objectives, if you assign the lesson for them. For you, we have related lessons and those national arts anchor standards identified. Under preparation and instruction, these are notes for you, the teacher, uh, just for you, and this gives a full and complete overview of what your lesson is going to be. Preparation, modification notes, warm-up activities, and then instructional activities. So what is the process that students will go through? At the end, as I scroll down, we have the assessment um, suggested a wrap-up for you. Back up here, related resources. So we have identified um, shows and performing skills here. Show guides to think about one man, two governors, the complete works of William Shakespeare Bridge. Both use a lot of great physical comedy. Performing guides, we have American style pantomime and British style pantomime or panto that we give information on. We have a blog about pantomime. We provide a rubric for you so that you can help score and students are able to see all of these things so that they will have those resources and we provide some quizzes. In this case, if you really want students to see One Man, Two Governors because that does provide a foundation for what we're talking about here, um, they have the show guide, but you can also make sure they do their quizzes. Finally, we have videos. So these are some example pantomimes from international thespian festivals. Um, so Critics' Choice, and um, these, are, these are really fun um, examples of pantomime. So that's the basic breakdown of a lesson. And we have a wide range of topics, acting, technical theater, theater history, um, all sorts of stuff. So that is the very quick overview of the teacher side of the platform. And I hope that with this overview, you can see how you can use and select particular materials um, that are going to work best for you and your students. Um, you can always adapt, modify, nothing is set in stone. Um, you can add on show guides, you can select how much you want your students to see, uh, how much to pursue, um, the time frame for lessons. So our, our general overview of the teacher side of stage agent for schools. So with that, I will hand things back to Jason and All see right. if we have questions. Thanks, thanks, Cindy. That, that was a great overview. Um, you know, one question uh, in the chat was also uh, from somebody who has a, uh, looks like a personal account on stageagent.com. Mm -hmm. and wanted to know, do they get, does she get access to these uh, you know, is this something she can access within stageagent.com? Um, you can get the show research. Um, you do not have access to the lesson plans, though. So anything under this teach button is only for stage agent for schools. So how does somebody sign up for stage agent for schools? Let's see. You can look down here if we go, I believe, you can get information on Stage Agent for Schools here. Um, there is 
an order form if you'd like information. And also one of the best ways to get there is click contact us. There is a little help guide down here too that we have throughout the site. And this is where you can contact stage agent directly and find out more information. So we can do a much more in-depth overview for you, talk about how you get access. Um, and um, Jason is really quick at responding. It should be noted that Stage Agent for Schools lives on stageagent.org, stageagent.org. So uh, it is the uh, you know sister site to stageagent.com, but stageagent.org is meant for for teachers and schools and school districts. All right, um, we have uh, just a couple more minutes here. Uh, are there any other questions uh, from any of the uh, audience participants? Feel free to, to post in the chat or if you want to uh, unmute and just ask, that is also, also fun. All right, I think that is that is everything. So we will, uh, we did record this presentation and we'll go ahead and uh, pop it onto the Stage Agent YouTube channel. Um, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, email me at jason at stageagent.org. Um, again, the website is www.stageagent.org. And we hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you so much. We're, we're here to help drama teachers make their um, classrooms uh, more fun, more manageable, and way less stressful for you. So hopefully um, we will hear back from you soon. All right.